they said put the empties back in the box, <laughs> back in the shopping trolley from B and M. <laughs> Bike frames. Hopefully magnet fishing, not cast net fishing. Even though magnet fishing is not allowed. Whether or not that's right or wrong, who cares? This is where I thought I would fish this evening. And I thought, oh, how nice. <laughs> There's so much rubbish everywhere. get depressing I, li I pick up so much litter I'm not saying oh look at me it's just, I'm just telling you like I pick so much up I don't pick it up here because it's literally right in the town and the thing is the Wiltshire Council have got people that pick litter, litter up but they don't pick it up on the river because it's the Environment Agency's responsibility and I know that because we tried to get the, get the council to pick up a load of rubbish we know of on the river bank and they wouldn't. And we can't do anything about it, because we, <laughs> what can we do? It's literally like 40 bags of plastic. Ugh, never mind. Look at this, it's a pram that was in the river, and clearly an old throw net caught up in it. That's what we're up against in the river. All this rubbish, I'm literally just grabbing a few bits. Two benches here. <laughs> Sorry. Two benches for everyone to put there for people to sit and enjoy and eat their lunch. But no bins. No bins. <laughs> I can't leave my fishing kit down there and walk through town with the landing net full of rubbish. <laughs> Hopefully, no one nicks my stuff. No bins. No bins. What to just put a bin here? Look at that. The nearest bin. The nearest bin to all that rubbish is here in the living high street. Right. Welcome to Just Happy Trip to um, 301. <laughs> Gotta stop saying 200. God, I've said that so long. Uh, this evening, as you've already seen, I'm at the Free Stretch Weir. I just had to pick that rubbish up. How annoying it is. It really bugs me. I've done, I mean, let's not get on about it. You know what it's like. Uh, I'm in this swim, not only because I know there's going to be some treb out there. And even though it's, I'm now 45 minutes late and I want it to be seven o'clock in the evening, I should still get one. But I actually just want to sit here for an hour of darkness. Just see if um, I get blessed really with any wildlife swimming along. Hopefully the beavers that I think live here. I, well, I, I mean, let's be honest. I'm going to be able to keep, I know they live there. Well, I don't. I know. I don't know they live there, but I know there's two animals been travelling along here recently because I've seen them with my own eyes. But I haven't got video proof, so to me, that's as good as just nothing at all. So um, anyway, let's see what we got. it where the two flows like kind of subtly join away from the turbulent water.
right here. It literally pops on the, bram the brambles. Guy, I don't know if you can see on the angle I put it on. Guy just come along about 25 minutes ago, you know, enjoyed the little weir with sitting on that bench, drunk a can of alcohol, it looks like. He's either gone off to have a slash or he's just gone and left his can on the bench. And he's done that because there's no bin there. Stupid. taken the brolly down so I don't think it's going to rain but then I thought actually it's quite nice to have a brolly here because in case someone chucks bottles or whatever off the bridge you're literally right in the zone here or if they spit or something like that it's just running along it's quite a horrible place to fish but I bet back in the you know in the 70s 60s I'm not sure how old this weir and radial gate is but I bet it was lovely back before it was busy And can update, it's still on the bench. Or if you can see the rats on the steps going up to the, um, the big, you know, ballast one. I'm going to attempt to put a cast right up by that radio head. It's gonna be full of snags, shopping trolleys, bottles. Literally everything's gonna be down there, throw nets. So I'm still gonna have a go and hopefully I get my stuff back. If there's something across the bridge, hopefully they don't spit on me. Amazing, and I don't know if you even know what I saw if, if you could see, but that guy was sat on that bench having his drink, left it on the bench, been gone 20 minutes. Someone else walks along, walks up to the bench, <laughs> sees a can, throws it in the river. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Certainly going to pick out my hands, this fish. There it is. Pretty standard size, about three and a half. Nice chub. Put straight back. Maybe three and a quarter. Ah, I'm not going to lie. Very happy. Very happy to call fish. Well worth coming now, of course. I mean, definitely bigger chub in here as well than that. And that was as soon as I put it in the more turbulent water, which is surprising. I thought they would, you know, sit back. But then, obviously, if people were throwing throw nets and cast nets and fishing here a lot, and God knows what else happens there, I'd hate to think. You can imagine the, the chub getting right up 
right up underneath the, I don't know, the radial gate. And even potentially there's a pipe possibly that goes up into the mechanisms that might get up there. Which also actually coincidentally, if you care or not, I don't know, but it might be one of the ways a beaver might make its way up the weir. It might have actually, the beaver might have actually dug a tunnel un underneath a radial gate, like a canal in the riverbed. That would make sense. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. You wouldn't believe it, someone else on that little room bench now and he's just going to eat a takeaway by the looks of it. It's now eight o'clock. I'm gonna carry on fishing for about another hour, I reckon. And um, see if anything swims along the surface. It's nice and mild tonight. Oh, yeah, so um, we'll see what we get. <laughs> 